Yo, 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 what is up, y'all? It's me, JP, back again with another video. Yeah, I've been gone. We're just gonna ignore that. Today, we are gonna talk about a pre-write. Now, if you never heard of that, um, it's like where I take a movie that um, hasn't released yet, and I make the plot of it, how I would want a plot for that movie to be. You know, I do it a lot of um, off camera and stuff, but I felt why not do it on camera? You know, try it out. Uh, I am pretty inspired by this one YouTuber. Um, try, I can't pronounce his channel name. It, uh, I'll leave it in the description though. Go check his videos out. They're great. His latest video was a Spider-Man uh, college trilogy uh, pre-write. I would definitely check it out. Anyways, we're gonna get to my video, which if you saw from the title is Nova. Now, obviously they announced that they were doing a Nova project for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. When will it release? I don't know. But I thought, what would I want a new Nova movie to be like? Obviously I haven't read a lot of Nova comics, so I've been just doing a lot of research and going off what I can get. Um, but, in this movie, we'll be following Richard Ryder. He is going to be a teenager in this movie. And I felt like it would be good to get a new coming of age, um, coming of age story movie since the last one we got was Spider-Man. So maybe it'll be in phase six. That's, that's the best place it could prob probably be. Um, and it'll heavily, um, be, have characters from Guardians of the Galaxy specifically the Nova and Zendarians, but, and the Kree will also be in it. So, um, obviously all rights to these characters go to the big old Disney and the big old Mickey Mouse. Don't sue me. <laughs> I mean, unless you want to hire me, obviously. I can make y'all a movie. <laughs> Disney, please. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. Okay, okay, okay. So, the movie Nova. I was thinking we begin in Zen Zendar. Um, this takes place after Endgame, after Infinity War, and Zend Zendar after getting decimated by Thanos. Man, that Thanos was... They, they didn't deserve that. But anyways, decimated by Thanos. Um, are now at a very weak point. They are no longer a top, top people in the galaxy. So now, pe people are obviously attacking to get more resources from them. Specifically, the Kree. So, this opening scene, opening prologue, takes place in a battlefield on Xandar with the Kree invading. Now we see many soldiers of, of Nova getting killed by some alien blasters by the Kree. Um, and so I was think I don't think I'm gonna bring back any of the Kree from Captain Marvel. Maybe they're mentioned in Captain Marvel could be mentioned, but you know, I don't think I'm gonna bring them back at all. But I will be bringing back other characters. Um, so anyways, basically we have um, the Kree invading, and we have a new character that I'm making, a Kree general, and so Kree general Zenro. General Zenro lands on the planet and is looking for something, and he's telling his soldiers, go, go, go find, go find this thing for me, please, blah, evil speech, la 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 la. Yeah, I, I give good evil speeches. <laughs> so, um, yep. Soldiers go up looking for this thing, and he's saying it's called the World Mind. Ah, uh, true Marvel fans know the World Mind, know the World Mind. So we cut to Day, uh, Commander Day. No, remember Day? He's uh the one, the one guy from Guardians of the Galaxy that um was Quill, Quill like Nova, Nova Pal. You know, you remember him? He's kind of fat. He was in. Kong Skull Island, um, that guy, got his actor name, Day, is his character name though, he is trying to get to, um, 
find the the one Meryl Streep character. I think that's the actor that's playing her. Um, the lady. <laughs> and they end up meeting up and she's saying, you need to protect the world mine at all costs. We can't let the Kree get it because the Kree are planning something. So, the, so Day's just like, uh, but like, but, but, doesn't say like, but what about, what about you? I can't just leave and take the world mine. What about our people? I managed to get our family out there, but out of here, it's just like, what, what, what do you want me to do? Just leave? And she says, yes. Okay. The, the survival of Nova depends on the world mine. So Day agrees and Day gets in, uh, finds the life pod with the world mine. It's like a little chip thing. Um, you know, a little chip I was designing. Um, so, got a message. Anyways, it's fine. Um, yeah, it's a little chip. And so he goes to find a, a life pod. A little pod that can fly away. And um, basically, Nova, the Nova Corps are just getting obliterated. Totally killed. And the G General Zenro walks into the main head office where he finds uh, the head head honcho lady and she starts distracting him saying, you'll never get the world mine. You can't let these you people, the Kree, that sounded so bad. Uh, you, the Kree take over the galaxy. So General Zenro, pow pow, kills her. She's gone. And Day manages to find a life pod and he gets in and he's turning it on, he's ready to go with the world mine, puts in a little box on, in the ship, he starts to fly away. General Zenro sees the life pod fly away and he gets, tells his men, get in the ship and fight. Shoot down that life pod at all costs. And so it's a cool little space battle, you know, shooting lasers and stuff until basically Day manages to hyperdrive out of there. And so soldiers are like, we can't, we can't catch up to him, but we know where he's going. And General Zenro's like, where? And the soldier's like, C-52. And Zenro's is like, that's Earth. Marvel Cinematic Universe, title. I shortened it down a bit, but you know, it, it's cool. Like, the battlefield's all destroyed and stuff, and it'll be a cool scene. Um, many of this, the buildings are falling to pieces and on fire. A lot of Nova Corps technology destroyed. It'll be a cool scene, cool landscape. It'll be beautiful shots, even though know, it's a sad thing. Cree invading Landar. So that was the prologue. Now we're on to Act One. I'll try to um, shorten this because I don't want this to be a super long video, you know? Um, like an hour. That's. A lot. Once I really get a get actually making scripts for these videos, it'll probably be longer and more organized, and not just me saying um and like and it's all over the place. But since this is a start, we're gonna have to deal with it. So, um, Act One begins, and we meet Richard Ryder. He is a senior. He lives on a farm, and. He's just all waking up tired and stuff. And we see his room is is, has some posters of, there's a poster of Iron Man, and there's a poster of some old some old rock bands. And you know, a, a typical teenager room, you know? And um, so Richard Ryder's mom is not home. I was thinking he, his parents are like never home. He's usually living on his own basically. Because mom's always at work and his dad is in the military, on a military operation. So he's always alone. Always, always alone. So that could be kind of a, a character point for him. He's kind of lonely, he feels. Um, left out from family and just living on this old farm and this empty town. Going to a boring school and he kind of just wants more with for his life, you know. So, he has a friend named Sam. She, 
uh, we see she's uh, a main character in it. She's always talking to him on the phone and they have a school project together. What we learn is Sam is a scroll that was sent down to Earth um, just to live a normal life from short up there. And he know Richard knows that. And But Sam is afraid she doesn't want to reveal our identity to people. She, she, she Yeah, she doesn't want to do that. So, I just realized there's a ramen cup right there. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, what we see is Richard picking up Sam and going to school. And we get some good um, bonding moments with them. Um, get their chemistry good. You know, I was, for playing Nova, I was thinking for Richard Ryder, we could get, um... Tanner from Cobra Kai. He would play Robbie in it. I think he would be a great fit, you know. Um, yeah, that's my that's my casting. Don't know what I picked to play Sam though. Maybe, maybe Sam from Cobra Kai. <laughs> no. Um, but yeah, we get some good chemistry moments. Um, Richard is talking about how he wants to do more with his life, and Sam doesn't want to reveal that she's a scroll. So that's kind of their two main character arcs. Anyways, Richard goes home after school, and he's kind of just bored sitting in his house, figuring out what am I doing? Like, my life is going nowhere, you know, until he hears a weird sound coming from outside. So he walks out of his house and he sees some glowing light appear in the sky. Boom. And it starts, like, he's hearing noise. Boom. 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. But yeah, glow glowing light in the sky and his noise when, boom, a hexagon appears. Poo. Knocks him back. Whoa. And the Nova ship flies straight out. Crash lands onto the field. He almost gets hit. It's all crazy. And he's like, What is going on here, bazoinks? <laughs> he doesn't say bazoinks. <laughs> doesn't say bazoinks. Um, but yeah, he's like, What is going on here? Oh my gosh. It's, it's, it's a Zandarian ship. So, uh, he doesn't know it's a Zandarian ship. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that. He's not, he doesn't know it's a Zandarian ship. I, I'm sorry, I am all over the place. Something's just ecstatic. Woo! Okay, I'm back on YouTube. And so I'm like, let's get everything out, everything out, everything out, blah, 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 blah. Anyways, he's like, oh, whoa, it's the ship. So he runs over to it. He doesn't know what it really is. Um, and the latch opens when day runs out and he's days is like all loopy and tired and it's just like he needs to save, need to save our people and then day passes out on the ground he's like ah oh, there's a person there that just came out of a weird thing out of a hexagon oh my god uh, okay and he's just freaking out doesn't know what to do he starts to go into inside this, this weird machine and he's looking around when he sees this, the box that's glowing. And it has a weird chip in it. And he presses on it, and it releases a bracelet. And, and Richard picks up the bracelet and latches on to his arm right here. It spans to right, like right about like this big, wrapped around, and it starts to like stick needles into his skin and just slowly dig in. It's just like ah, ah, and then glowy. Like glowy um lines start flowing through his his skin, blue lines. Yeah, I thought that would be cool. And his eyes start glowing blue, and then he passes out. And then he wakes up in the morning, front and day standing over him. He's like, "Good morning, kid." And. Ridge is like, ah, ah, what the heck? What the hell? Oh my god. Uh, who are who are you? Who are you? Who are you? And Dave's like, whoa, 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 calm down, calm down, okay? Listen. 
I'm, I'm not your enemy. Like, who are, who are you? And we get some exposition. Basically, you know, they explain that he's from a planet called Xandar. And he crash landed here. And it seems like you got chosen by the world mine. And Richards is like, what? How is that possible? How could I have gotten chosen by the world mine? What? And so Day is just like, listen, I know it's I know it's confusing, but you gotta trust me. He will explain everything. And Rich is like, who will explain everything? And Day's like, is that your house? I'm gonna go get some food. And Day was walking away. He's like, Rich, Rich is like, well, what is going on? And then he's Richard hears someone behind his back saying, Richard. And he looks around and no one's there. He's like, what? 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 <laughs> and he, he keeps looking he keeps looking he's like someone keeps saying Richard's name and he, he doesn't see anyone and then he sees him he's like Richard over here and he looks and it's a person but not but a weird person like he is in full Nova robes down to his legs and um he has he's kind of skinny and built he's older too he has long, like kind of hair like mine but not curly straight you know up um so this is the world mine self he basically took a uh, humanoid form to talk to to talk to richard so um richard is like who are you? And the world mind, who I'm kind of making his character like a more judgmental type. Like, ugh, you just need to listen and then follow my orders and stuff, you know? He's, he's, he's kind of uh, getting tired of this mentor. And just wants to get the mission done. Save Nova. The Nova Corps. So, he's just like... Uh, let's, you gotta listen to me, buddy. And so, uh, Nova, or er, World Mind, explains, um, the whole war between the Kree and Xandar. Whole how Xandar is weak and the Kree wanted to finally take the World Mind so they can finish their suit of armor, which would be basically they'd have all the power in the galaxy. Most powerful suit and they'd be the top machos. They know they have their own supreme intelligence, but the only way to really finish the suit is with the world mind, since Nova, the Xandarians, managed to make the suit another suit with the world mind, and it works. And so now Richard has the has the suit on him. It, it, it's the bracelet, the, the cool bracelet. Hang. And so he's just like, what? I have a, I have a suit now? And so, yeah, he's like, yes. World Mind is like, yes, you do. And now I need to keep, start training you for the battle. And Rich is the first like, what? No, I, I'm not doing no battle. And World Mind's kind of even said, but you were chosen or right, you agreed to do this. And I, and Rich is like, no, I didn't. You, you're, you're, you're the, br the bracelet latched onto me. And World Mind's getting upset, and it's like, our sake of our people re are relying on you. And so Richard's just like, can I just call my friend first? Get her advice. And World Mind's like, ugh, fine. Stuff. So Richard calls his, calls his friend. Um, his friend is Sam. And so Sam comes over, and she's like, what is this? Is it a, a ship? And she's like all fascinated and, and like, wow, this is so cool. And so Richard's like, okay, what about mine? Meet Sam. And Sam is just like, who are you talking to? And, and Richard's like, it's the world mine, right, right, right here. And Sam doesn't see it. Sam doesn't see the world mine. Only in, only in Richard's head is this world mine exists because right side. Anyways, um, yeah, Richard is basically like, but, 
you, are you sure you don't see anything? And Sam is really like, no. And so World Mind does a little um, scanning of Sam and sees that she's good at engineering. And so World Mind is like, do you think you could fix the ship? To, and he's like asking Nova, do you think she can fix this ship? And no, and Bridget's like, ask Sam, and she's like, oh, hell yeah, I'd, I'd love to try at least. And so um, Sam tries to um, fix it. She starts to do a couple of little repairs. And meanwhile, Richard finally is just like, fine, I agree. And um, he starts to get a little, little training from the world of mine. We might, get a, we might either put him a little montage in there, a little training montage, or um, a cut. Actually, yeah, a cut. So, starts to get trained. We cut to Cree base and we see general zenro is searching for exact location of where that vendarian life pod landed and he sees it's in this farm and he's like all right send some troops to go get it and then he gets called in a soldier walks into his office and says the supreme intelligence wants to speak to you so general zenro goes to the supreme intelligence and talks to her, or him, or, yeah, it's, a, it's an AI, it's not really any. Same as Supreme Intelligence from, um, Captain Marvel. Um, that was the pilot lady. Anyways, um, yeah, so, talks, talks to Supreme Intelligence, and it says that you failed the Kree before. I, I don't want you to fail again. And so he's just, he's like, he doesn't want to fail, you know? Because uh, last time his mission, he tr had a mission to receive a specific item from the, the Nova, which failed, backfired super bad and got caused the Nova Corps to basically take over a big base of the Kree. Kree big base on a planet of the Kree. And that was a big setback. So he's kind of been disgraced by his planet. And this is kind of his redemption arc for his planet. To try to get that mind. Because the, the mind, the world mind. So um, he's like, I will not fail you, Supreme Intelligence. Cut back to Richard and his gang, and Day walks out to see Richard testing out his new powers with his bracelet. He's kind of got like blast on his arms, kind of like Captain Marvel. Yeah, can fly and stuff. Um, but he hasn't put on the suit yet. And so uh, Sam's like, I think I, I think I got the ship ready. I think it it's, can fly again. And I was thinking, like, there's probably just, like, a repair a thing in there that can fix it. Like, I know she doesn't know alien technology, but she learned some stuff from scroll, the scroll sword-based stuff. So she knows a little bit about the aliens and stuff, you know. Um, then from the sky, Day sees hexagons appearing. And boom, some Kree ships start flying out. And so Day's like, run to the ship now! And so uh, Sam and Richard run into this Nova ship and they start flying flying it and while Day distracts the, some Kree ships by shooting at him with a blaster he has. Um, and the world mind's talking to Richard like, you need to equip your suit. And Richard's like, how? And it's just, the world mind's just like, feel it. Feel it surging through your body and let it out and so richard turns on the suit and it's a cool moment puts on the suit with the mask and he starts to fight the kree pilot planes and stuff and it's a pretty cool scene boom boom and stuff i don't know why i'm making the sound effect noises <laughs> anyways wow this is a long video um so Nova starts to fight these ships and shoot them down when um, they, they're still coming out more. And so that Sam starts to fly the ship, Nova ship up into the air 
in the sky and one mine's like Richard tell her to turn on hyperdrive so Richard gets on back onto the Nova ship and saying he's like do hyperdrive now Sam and Sam does and they escape and crash land on another planet in a whole different area. And that's the end of Act 1. The day is also left on Earth with some remaining Kree ships. And so, yeah. It's a little less detailed than a lot of other channels, but I'm just getting started, you know. Um, and I didn't want, I, I'm kind of ending it here because it's a long video. And I'll do another part to finish off the movie. Leave y'all a little suspense. Don't worry, it won't be as long of a break for part two. Um, I hope y'all like this. Um, if if it obviously does not that good, I might um, either add, definitely add more try to this, you know, make an actual script. Or I'll just continue doing my trailer reactions, movie reviews, stuff like that. But... You know, I thought I'd add a little bit of stuff in it, get more people to subscribe, because I'm kind of only talking to, like, 50 people. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, my part one of a Nova movie. And, uh, read through some research on Nova, if you don't know him. Cool character. Make sure to like that video, like this video, and check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. I, it is young me. Some are with little, little me and some are with me with the crazy hair. <laughs> it, was cra it was crazy hair. It was crazy hair. Um, subscribe, please. Uh, check out my Instagram. I post some cool posters on there. I'll leave that in the description. Actually, full credit to Marvel and Disney. Mickey Mouse, don't sue me. Hire me instead. And I guess I'll see y'all later. This is a peace out of JP.